it's all covered with any of that. I think so I think the right is done. Yeah, I've been getting set up here and I've been working on the software. Yeah. Oh, yeah, find the flashlight. This is the relays, since we couldn't find the optocouplers and had to get the job started, or the input encoder from the tool changer, and you can see the lights that are hooked up. It's a 4-bit encoder. 8 tool positions The encoder has a bad spot at tool number 6 and the relays are slow so we can't stop at tool 1 without throwing an error as well Nothing like coolant on the lens. And here's the Pico Systems controller. And there, of course, are the drives. And here's the spindle DAC. Just controls zero to 10 volts on the VFD. We're using four of the digital inputs for the for reading the tool position. And we're also using 
So we're using two outputs, one for the turret lift and one for the stop dog. And then we're using uh, another output for the air chuck. And that is simply controlling. Hey. Uh, and so the air chuck just operates a solenoid. It's just operated by a solenoid. We've got the 12 volt uh, going through the relay on the board. This one's over, operates the upper SSR here for the 120 volt solenoid. And there's the VFB for the spindle motor. One twenty volt foot pedal switch in parallel with the SSR for the air chuck, so you can manually operate it. We gotta get that parts tray going, don't we? Yeah, it, was, it throws them all over. <laughs> Purdy. Help him. Okay. Now that there's not coolant splashing all over the place. And Linux CNC running. I'm gonna check the tools while it stopped. 